What is aquarian? It is not aquarium. It is aquarian. <laughs> we are all aquarium disciples. <laughs> Eating fish. <laughs> <laughs> aquarium disciples, but this is not aquarium, this is aquarian. There are, I, I am not, uh, I don't want to go into the details, we need a lot of time. But to be very brief, there are 12 signs. You know very well, Aris. What is your sign? Who is Aris here? Any Aris here? <sighs> Ah, yeah. yeah, nice, right. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Um, is, uh, March, between yeah. March and April, no? Yeah. No. Okay. In general, no? Okay, Taurus. Yeah. Who is Gemini? Hmm? Gemini. Gemini. Not the sun. Not? Uh, 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 sun. No, sun sign. Sun. 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 Gemini. Yeah. So, Taurus is there, Gemini is there. Who is Cancer? Ah. Leo? Weak Leo, not strong Leo. Okay. Who? Who? Yes, strong Leo. Now I understand, Daniela, what you said. Now I believe. I told you yesterday in the car. Yeah, I forget everything then and there. And Leo, who is Virgo? Ah, yes. Poor Virgo. In the, in the hands of Leo, man. Daniel, uh, all my... All my no, it's a double huh? It's double Leo. Leo. Oh, it's not just once Leo. It's double accident and sun. I pity you, Daniel. Yes. <laughs> all my love, affection, care, everything to you. Not to him. <laughs> and then who is Libra? You. you. No Libra is here. Okay. Yes. Uh, who is Scorpio? Ascendant. Ascendant. Sons? No. Who is ascendant Scorpio? Yes. Ascendant Scorpio. Yes. Ascendant Scorpios. Who? Oh. You, you are not good Scorpios. <laughs> yeah. No, no. You are good Scorpios. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are good Scorpios. And Scorpios are something else. And uh, Sagittarius. Who? Oh. Two. So, except Aries, we are having a... Eh? Everybody is here. Uh, what is the Aquarius? Who is Capricorn? No Capricorn. Okay. Even any Capricorn is there, they cannot stand in my class. They will go. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, uh, who is Aquarius? No. That we need in the class. Fish. Fish. Aquarius is not the fish. Huh? Who is the Pisces? Fish. Uh, you. Oh, good. So we are missing uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries. Aries. Uh, we don't want Aries. Yeah. Okay, we don't want. Our whole family is Aries. <laughs> poor me, yeah. Uh, yeah. Poor, poor you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So like this. Water is water, water man. Water. Aquarius. Aquarius. Who? Laura. Oh, that's good. Very good. She's Aquarius. Yes, very good. Very good. So, these are the 12 sciences I need not explain. <laughs> I mean, you explain to me. So, this is our, this is our, we call as our Aquarius and PC, or something like that. So, there is another thing. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. This go like this. But uh, earth goes, earth also goes through these signs in the opposite direction. It will take, to cross one sign, it will take approximately 2,500 years. Approximately. 2,500 years. Like, uh, first is Taurus, for example. So, if somebody asks you to tell about Taurus, immediately you will tell, they are very stubborn, very strong and practical, this and that and that. We will, we will tell about the qualities of the science. In the same way, in, in the same way, when the earth is also traveling through one sign, 
it is a astronomical calculation i am not going that side when earth is also going through that uh, sign what happens the entire earthy beings human beings because we are we are uh, having mind so we will be influenced by that sign in total here it is individual when we are born in a particular sign we be only those people they behave in such a way to some extent not total but when the earth is traveling passing through a sign the beings on the earth the human beings on the earth completely totally without knowing they will be influenced by the by that particular sign in total so what we have what we will have we have our own sign the qualities our ascendant the qualities of that sign our moon our moon will be in some some sign you see india we, we take moon as the main not sun yes so sun moon and ascendant they are very important ascendant is the matter moon is the mind sun is the spirit or soul or earth consciousness so these three are very important in anybody's horoscope these three are in harmony we call it is the best horoscope mind matter and spirit when there is a harmony between these three what else you want all the other things are extensions of these three all the other planets other things order it may be are extensions of this three matter mind and spirit in general it should not be like that. in general we can find very 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 few people they are so comfortable in their life harmonious you will find harmony in their life in their thoughts in their thinking in their attitude or that man so we are not going to that side but here what we have to understand we will be influenced by our sun sign our moon sign or ascendant apart from it an earth is passing through that particular sign entire humanity follows that qualities also then those are not the individual qualities for example take aries for example aries is the which element aries which element fire, fire. right fine fire, fire. it is a masculine sign plus fire here we need only fire we are not going beyond that so when earth is passing through the uh, aries then what is the animal of aries goat goat or sheep or that animal yes what you will cut abraham what is it? sheep ram. Huh? ram ram yes ram ram is the animal of two horns like this and ram is the animal of uh, uh, aries and fire is the element so if you find in the old testament days if you, if you go to the old testament everywhere you find the fire rituals cutting of the ram offering to the god all the wars fightings on the earth and lot of fire 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 and fire that's why they called it the burning bush <laughs> light also so all those generations they eat lot of ram even to the worship also they use the ram symbolically also they use the ram understand for them the ram and the fire ram and the fire ram and the fire. that's it then next uh, it goes to fish otherwise you say then water come into existence not fire then people travel through water by ship or by boat go to other parts of the world do the business catch the fish eat the fish <laughs> they are very emotional devotional water affectionate caring love all these things it is a totally a masculine sign and a fiery sign here is a watery sign 
That's why in the Moses times, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. The Jesus time, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> All the conditions, because people are very strong, fiery. Hey, you should not do it, otherwise I will kill. This is Moses time. Don't steal, don't tell lies, this and that. When it comes to this Jesus time, he put this like this and catch the fish. <laughs> you understand? Traveling uh, through the water, showing love and affection, sacrifice, all these things. They are very emotional, very devotional. Most of the humanity, they will get those qualities. This is Jesus' time. Humanity, they, they get the, those qualities of the water qualities. Yeah. Water. Love and all those things. In Moses' time, you don't uh, use the word love. <laughs> In Jesus' time only, you use the word love. And Mary, mother, the world mother concept. Understand? Then now, we are not in the Pishan age. All the personal worship, personal cult, all these things in the Pishan age. Personality cult and personal worship and all these things. Religion, temples, all these things. Now, we, are, we crossed that, now we are in the Aquarian age. What is the element of Aquarius? Air. 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 So, this is the time where we can fly. Yes. They find the aeroplanes. They find the rockets, space shuttles. All the time they speak about universe, 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 space, 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 universe, space. Whether they, do, whether, they do, whether they do something right or wrong, but we don't know. But all the time we speak about universe, universe, space, space, is atomic <coughs> energy. And people, they, they are so much thinking, thinking and thinking, research, research, research. They, are, they, they will never spend on the earth. They, all the time they, they spend in the sky, yeah. air. All the time flying. Flying, not only the flight, uh, the mind also. So, when, uh, when, uh, when we come to that state, unknowingly, whether you like it or not, you will be influenced by, by that sign. What a real master will do, I am using the word real master, not master. What a real master will do, he will change the teaching of the same scripture to fit into the present time. You understand? The same teaching either from Vedas or the Bible or whatever, it may be the same teaching, they will, they will put in such a beautiful way to fit into the present state of things. You understand? So they will try to explain you from the universal point of view, not from the personality <coughs> point of view. What is the difference between personality point of view and the universal point of view? Personality point of view is personal worship, religious worship, a cult, a sect, a group, a faith, a belief, without any research into it. But when the time is changing and time is changing, so many things will be changed. The mind pattern also will be changed. In my generation, I think in a different way. My son, he will think in a different way. The next generation, they will think in a different way. We should not put them into one cave, one case. We have to answer them. When they ask something else, no, 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 we should believe it. You will throw it out and get out. They, now, if you ask your children, no, you have to believe it. Why should I believe it? You should prove it scientifically, he asks. But science is not the final thing. But he will not believe that. Because it is a scientific case. When you are living in a scientific case, you have to train yourself, I have to train myself, to explain in a scientific way, if we can. Otherwise, keep quiet. <laughs> 
Because we know science is not the final thing. Science has to be evolved. Science is in a primitive stage now. It has to be evolved much more and much more and much more to understand the ancient things. But we cannot prove the ancient things with the present equipment. <coughs> the present, present equipment is not enough to prove the ancient things. <coughs> Understand? Thousands and thousands of, thousands of years ago, may, maybe it's five to ten thousand years ago, in Mahabharata, at the time of Lord Krishna, they explained about they explained about change of sex. Can you believe it? The the time of Lord Krishna is five thousand to five thousand two hundred years. Five thousand to to five thousand two hundred years ago, in Mahabharata in the scripture, they explained about change of sex. Can you believe it? They explained about test tube babies. Most of the people who lived along with Krishna, most of them are test tube babies. Test tube. Five thousand years ago, they explained about atomic energy. If you throw an arrow like this, you will find lot of fire. One arrow like this is some mantra, a lot of water. Lot of thunder. They are nothing but targeting something. Targeting something. He wanted to kill somebody, and if he is hiding somewhere, he will close your eyes and throw the arrow targeting something. It is nothing but missile. They explained all these things long, long, long back in the scriptures. So those days were gone. There is a small. Change somewhere else. We lost that science. They explained about the flight much more before La Krishna and uh, Rama, Lord Rama time. They were having flights. They went from fl India to Sri Lanka by flight. It is called Pushpak Vimana. Means uh, it accommodates any number of people. <laughs> they discussed about the fuel in the flight. Thousands of years back, so that means they are very great scientists. They did all the major brain operations in India some thousands years back. They did so many major operations. You know what they do? They take the big ants, you know, big ant, ant, you know, ant, 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 ant. When they cut here, instead of Putting the sutures here, they take they take the ant and it will tuck like this, and they will cut the trunk. Like this, they put ten or twenty ants like this, and when it tuck like this, they will they used to cut the head, which is like this, and after a few days it will be healed. It is natural. Like that, they found so <coughs> so many things in India. But if you say they are not scientific, we are scientific. Who cares? <laughs> so, but we can't. We cannot convince the children now because they are. They are thinking they are in the scientific case. All the people they are developing a lot of science and space research. We cannot convince them with our uh, old teachings. We have to tell them how to live. How to live in a in a if the law. How to? What is the? What is the permanent? What is not permanent? We have we have to be equipped with something else, not the old teaching. The stuff is same. Don't tell lies. It is every every time it is right. Eat good food. In any century it is right. Live a meaningful and useful life. In any century it applies like that. Only we take we breathe only with the nose. Not with the mouth. All the all the laws are same. They will not be changed any time. They will, they will be like that only. The way we we have to explain will be changed. Depend upon the sign, the element of the sign. 
Now it is a scientific age because it is the, now we are going through the air. That's why if you understand very well, all the atomic, uh, Aquarius is the sign of atom, atomic energy. So even the scientist also, he will, he can find atomic energy only at this time, not before. Because the, the previous age is the water age. He can go to the other countries by traveling through the water, by the water. You understand? Now, no water business. Whoosh. Other planets. So we are sending satellites to other planets in the master CV days. He doesn't need any uh, uh, satellite, satellites to go there. He was sitting in the meditation. He asked his wife to sit in the meditation. He used to take her uh, subtle body. He used to send her to the moon, other planets, and uh, he, she, she used to travel there and find out, and she used to dictate notes from there, he used to write. And when, when his days, disciples are working in the office, he used to telephone, he would take rest and go to somewhere else and sit. He used to take his subtle body and send to some other planet or some other star and take the notes, how is that, what is happening there, and what is the climate there, all these notes. He, ca he has taken uh, thousands of pages of notes, in the time of Master CVV, sending his disciples and his wife to other planets. A few years back. And he asked a great soul, his name is Chandu, his name is Navatreya, Rishi name, Navatreya. Are you please born in my house as my son? Navatreya, he, he contacted a man in this place who is waiting to take a body. He's a great sage. Why don't you put uh, as my son, I, I, I have some work with you. He said, it is okay, but I cannot live long. I cannot stay there long. Because so, so many great people, if they come to the earth, they come just like that and they will go away immediately. Parents, they weep. <laughs> but he will be very happy to go back. <laughs> he will finish his job and go back very fast. Then he was born to see his wife. Even when he was so months baby, he used to discuss with his father about the universe, about yoga, and uh, in the clo in the closure room, and him and his mother is coming. Shh, mother is coming, mother is coming. In meanwhile, Chandu is a great master. His son is a great master than CVV. and he has to dictate lot of notes to Master CVV and he has to take the notes, highest yoga notes. And mother is coming, he used to keep quiet. When three years passed, he died. Father, my mission is over. I fulfilled my promise, I am going back. I see, he said, I see, he can go. Then mother came. No, 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 I wanted him to be back. Hey, mother is a mother, you see. Then see, he said, and it is not possible. No, 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 I don't want to, do, I don't know what you will do. You are capable of doing all these things and bring him back. Then Master Sri requested that boy, Hey man, please come. <laughs> no more boy. <laughs> He's a great Rishi. A seer. And then he came back and said, What is this? Your mother is weeping, man. Okay, I will stay for some time. Don't push me again. Okay, okay. Then uh, see his uh, wife used to play with this small boy. <laughs> Three years boy. And then again, he left the body. Again, she asked her husband, I want him back. <laughs> like that, three times happened. That time, uh, the boy said, this is the final time. I don't know how you will tackle your wife. That is your problem, not my problem. <laughs> I don't know how to handle your wife. That is not my problem. That is your problem. I am leaving back. I don't come again. And he left and... Uh, then Masayevi said, I invited him to born for some purpose, it is over, and please don't weep, and don't, don't be like all other mothers. They are special, and then she kept quiet. Why I am telling you this is, in the, it is possible only in the Aquarian age. So, Aquarian disciple is different from the disciples of the previous ages. If you want to push all these, uh, all these uh, fellows into the same frame, they won't uh, suit here. 
That's why all the youngsters, they won't uh, uh, come to the spiritual classes. Of course, here, not in India. Okay, it's a totally spiritual country, even from their childhood. They used to live with that, and it's not, I'm not telling that. But some, some, some fellow come to their class, and some master is intelligent enough to explain him in a scientific way. Then he will be fixed. Otherwise, they won't believe. They won't believe. Believing, believing system won't work now in the Aquarian years. It will work in uh, that uh, Aryan years or in the Pisian years. So that's why all the great masters of this group, they, won't, they never ask you, Jay, you just believe me and uh, I will provide you everything. They will never give you the teaching. They will tell you how to live. <coughs> they will tell you how to respond. They will tell you what is what. In a realistic sense, not in a superficial sense. If I had to give the same lecture in the Pisan years, I will not tell anything about I am like this. I will tell in a different way to develop their faith in them, to develop belief system in them. You understand? Now this is the time not to develop the belief system, it is the time to understand everything in a real way. That's why acquiring discipleship is uh, not an easy thing. Here the difficult part is, you have, to know, you have to understand yourself. You have to understand the physical anatomy and the spiritual anatomy, what we call the occult anatomy, about the inner forces. You have to understand about the earth and the nature, and the five elements. We have, to, we have to understand about the universe, about solar system, the planets, how they function, how they influence the human beings, how they influence the nations, how they influence the races. You understand? And what is karma? How it operates in our life? What is law of karma? What are the real problems of the humanity? How to deal with them? What is the individual consciousness and what is the group consciousness and what is the earth consciousness? What is the solar consciousness? What is the universal consciousness? You understand? What about the great bear? How the great bear, seven stars are influencing our sun how our sun is a disciple of the great bear and how our earth is very small before the sun, how it is getting the seven rays. Sun is getting the seven rays from the seven stars, great bear. In its sun, sun is giving seven rays to the earth, not eighth ray. <laughs> if eighth ray comes to the earth, there is no earth, only ash. All these, what are the seven planes here? What are the seven planes here? If somebody wanted to be an Aquarian disciple, it is not just have a faith on the Master and close your eyes and meditate him, you will get everything. That is not the teaching in the Aquarian age. You have to be equipped with all this information. Like a soldier is equipped with uh, every, all the arms when going to the <laughs> forefront. That's why what we do when, when somebody comes to us in early age, we'll try to teach him from the beginning. <laughs> like A for Apple, like this. We'll try to teach them some astrology, some astronomy, occult anatomy, the seven chakras and their functions. And the human behaviors, human psychologies, nations, races, R A C E S races, race, R A Y S race, and seven planes, we have to be equipped with everything. And if you want to speak something, you have to be you have to speak from this background. Is it easy or not? It's very easy. What, what, what is difficult here? 
because you have, you have forgotten everything. But I, I told a lot of all these things in the Mosha courses. I have explained a lot of things in my Moshak. There is a program. I explained about astrology, I explained about the healings, I explained about seven planes and seven races and seven races and occult anatomy. <laughs> is, it, is it yes or not? Yes. I told many of these things in my Moshak classes. The way I learned from my master, I tried to teach uh, according to the syllabus. Of course, it is whether they remember it or not is not a big issue because you are not going to be teach. I wanted to be, become a teacher. That's why I remembered those things. Eh? You just wanted to uh, live a life, a spiritual life. That's why it's, uh, you take the essence. <laughs> I have to read the books. <laughs> That's the difference. Okay, okay, leave it. <laughs> okay, leave it. Uh, discipleship in the Aquarian is totally different from the discipleship from the previous ages. In the previous ages, what you know, I will tell you. There was a master having three disciples, very young boys. Once he said uh, to one boy, these three are from a very rich families. In those days, even the sons of an emperor has to come to their master, live in a simple life, go for begging in the villages, the bowl, and they will put some food there. To whom? To the prince. <laughs> And he has to bring the food to the ashram and offer it to the master. He will take some food for him. He will take some food for the guests who are there in the ashram. And remaining food, if, if anything is left, he will give it to the person who brought the food from the village. You see the training? The training to the son of a king. <laughs> this is crucifixion, sir. This is called the crucifixion of ego. Then only it will be crucified. It is not crucified symbolically. <laughs> A son of an emperor going to the village for begging. And even then he is not offered the food. He has to offer to the master. He will take some food and other food he will offer to the guests. And if anything is left, then he will give it to the disciple. Otherwise he have to take a glass of water and then sleep, without any complaint. <laughs> that is important. <laughs> Once he wanted to give a fast track training, <laughs> fast track training to his disciple. He said, uh, something, some, he, he somehow managed uh, without uh, leaving any food to the disciple. By the time he distributes everything, he was looking like that, empty bowl. Then what, you know what he did, the disciple, was so young man, is he? so hungry. He went to the cow, <laughs> a lot of cows are there, and he take one glass of milk. Next day he looks very young and very bright and energetic. The master has a doubt. Hey, what did you do yesterday? <laughs> he said, what did you eat yesterday? He said, uh, I took one glass of milk. From where you got it? from the cow. No, no, no. You are not allowed. <laughs> no food, no milk. Then what this, man's, what this man did, the young disciple, he went to the cow, the boy cow, I don't know, or how you call it? Daughter of uh, that cow. Or bo <laughs> what is that? Small cow. Uh, yeah, the child of that cow taking, uh, drinking milk. Uh, the foam is coming out. <laughs> and this uh, daughter or son of the cow is drinking milk. Uh, foam is coming out. He used to take the foam. Master told him not to take the milk, not the foam, you see. <laughs> and he used to go there and take the seat. And next day, Master asked, What did you take yesterday? Because <laughs> he is looking so bright. <laughs> Start like this. And then I took the foam. No, you are not allowed. <laughs> you see? Then next day what he has to do, he has to take all the cows and cattle to the grounds and to feed them. And in the evening he has to come back with empty stomach. The young boy, he was so hungry. 
and then he was so hungry and hungry and what he he, he doesn't know what to do. He is not allowed to take the milk and the foam also. He is coming down. He is so hungry and suddenly tired, and uh, he fell in a well, deep well. Luckily, no water. <laughs> All the cattle cows uh, went to the ashram. So the master is waiting. It's night, ten o'clock. This boy didn't turn up. And then uh, he was shouting uh, with his name, "Hey man, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you?" He was going uh, to the forest and lands, and then from the deep, well, master, I am here. What happened? What happened to you, master? Uh, I was so hungry. I have took, I have taken some leaves from the plant, and uh, the milk from the what is that? Uh, The leaves fell on my eyes. I have become blind. I don't know what is there on the way. I fell in the well. I am here helplessly. And Master Master was so shocked. I have had to do that. You told me not to take the drink, not to take the milk, and not to take the foam. I was so hungry. I don't know about those leaves. I ate them. I became blind, and I was fallen in the well. And you know what master did? So, my dear man, I will tell you one mantra. <laughs> you do it. You will be again. You will get your sight back. <laughs> and immediately, it is the Ashwini Ashwini Sukta name. Ashwini Sukta name of the shlokas. He chanted Asuni Shuktam. He asked the disciple to chant the Asuni Shuktam. He got his eyes back, and somehow he managed to come out. And then he hugged the student, the student, and took him to his uh, hut, small hut. He initiated him like this. Now you are equipped with all the Vedas. You need not chant again. I am initiating you. at this moment you are equipped with all the entire spiritual wisdom you need not read any books tomorrow morning you can go back start your own ashram have your own disciples marry a good girl give birth to the good children responsible children my blessing to you go within a split second we thought all these learning and chanting and by heart and all the commentaries this and that nothing just one touch those days can you expect this now <laughs> this type of training <laughs> this type of faith A strong will. No, those days are different. These days are different. So, what I wanted to tell you: this is the intellectual age, a scientific age. So, if you wanted to tell something to other people, we have to go into his frequency. you have to understand their point of view not we should not put our point of view we have to teach according to their point of view the same thing truth we cannot change the truth you see we we can't change anything even now to give a birth to a child it will only 9 months 9 9 plus months not 6 plus months because so much of science is there <laughs> even the gynecology doctor also has to wait for 9 months to give birth to her child nothing will be changed here everything we will be like that only the understanding levels will be changed you understand so discipleship in that age is different from discipleship in the aquarian age aquarian discipleship is so comfortable because here there is no structure this is what master explains in this lecture Ashrams in the Aquarian age is different from the ashrams in the previous ages. 
in the previous ages ashrams means one master will be there all the disciples has to go there stay there for some time learn something from the teacher from the master and taking lot of training a difficult and difficult task and difficult training hard training and learn something when the master allows them to go out of the ashram then only they are allowed to go out of the ashram to start their own what jwal kumar said in the 21st century if you bring an ashram on the physical plane if you ask everybody to live together within uh, no time <laughs> they quarrel each other they fight with each other they fight for the power they fight for the right who is close to the master who is not close to the master all these comparisons will come accept spirituality every damn thing will be there he accept spirituality <laughs> all the power politics and money politics and this politics and that politics and the master has to deal all the time with the politics not with the classes <laughs> so what master jwal kumar says don't try to build ashrams on the physical plane ashram should be on the mental plane what is called the mental ashrams on the mental plane means uh, though somebody is in america somebody in switzerland somebody is in india somebody in germany or, or any any part of the world they should think in a they should think in same frequency you understand even though we are here she is thinking uh, one way and you are thinking another way and she is thinking another way i am thinking in my own way he is thinking in his own way what is the meaning of uh, uh, forming a group here it's a group of people sitting in th- with the physical bodies but everybody will have their own point of view that is not the purpose of ashram that's why master jwal kumar says master explained in this lecture very beautifully he pro- he proposed a mental ashrams means wherever you are in any country in any position in any power we don't care we have to think in the same line who is the nucleus here either master should be the nucleus here or the common work what we are doing to the humanity is the nucleus here if i am here you are here you have your own point of view i am having my own point of view there is a split here if we three or four we are working for somebody else what we will do we will keep away all our own point of views we will think to help the fourth or third person that's how we have to work in a common way this is the way of acquiring disciple so now you see previously if you want to meet the people you have to go there now what you are doing you are using the skype or conference call our video call at big screen will be there i will be speaking from india and she will be speaking from switzerland somebody will speaking from america we are looking each other her feelings all of us we join in the skype or in a video call we discuss and discuss this is the way you do we we have to do in the spiritual life also with our will with our will and love so to deal with the aquarian age is uh, totally depend upon your will and your thought here telepathy and other things come into the picture but we don't uh, speak about them when we are working in this plane so many things will come to us the telepathy or the intuition or the healing or uh, understanding somebody else even though they are not uh, before us suppose if somebody is living with that frequency so if they are in america for example all of us and if they remember me oh raji is now in switzerland how is doing immediately he will come to know about me i not telephone to him i am i man i am not so well i am using all the time i am not eating food i am eating medicines <laughs> i need not tell all this things to him and immediately hey what happened to you and uh, nothing i don't know what something is wrong with you what happened he will ask 
the college has telepathy or intuition or auto automatic. It comes to them automatic, not by learning. People go to the classes to learn telepathy and to learn about intuition and to learn about something else, something else. You cannot get it so easily, all these things. You cannot learn all those things. They have to come to us. In the Aquarian age, it is very, very easy for us. They will come to us. That is the beauty here. In other ages, we have to go, we have to run after them. It is very difficult. If they are coming to you automatically, when they will come to you? If you and me, and she and he and everybody, join together with our common mind, common willpower, to work for the humanity, to work for the others, to help others. That's how we have to overcome our ego. If we too work, I work with my ego and you work with your ego, if we too wanted to work for somebody else, we leave our ego here, we use our common interest of serving the humanity or serving the people. It will come into the picture, egos, they will go automatic back. That is how we have developed in the Aquarian age. That is the purpose of grouping the people. Not grouping the people in the big groups, it is grouping the people in the minds. Then you will know who I am and you will know who you are. And then you will know what, what the present society needs from us. How we can help the present society, our children are part of it, our friends are the part of it, our relatives are part of it. And so many people are part of it. We have to grow to that extension. But mine, no place here. Mine, no place here. The main teaching of the master is, if you want the fruits of, from a tree, you have to pour the water at the root, not <laughs> at the branches. Fruits come out of the branches, not from the roots. So if somebody is so smart, no, 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 I, all the time uh, I observed, you did not observe, I observed, all the fruits come only to the branches, not to the roots. Why do you pour water to the roots? It is unscientific. <laughs> and pour the water to the branches, the tree, the tree will die. Society is like a tree. All of us, we are like the branches and the flowers and the fruits or the leaves. All of us, if you pour the water at the root, there are so many birds, so many insects and so many people, they sit under the tree. So many birds, they, they sit on, on, on the upper side of the tree and a lot of things will happen. When? When you take care of the roots of the tree. That is what we call the society or humanity. Then Master says, your family is also part of society. Your children is also part of the society. Why I started a school when Maurya was born? Maria was born in 84 June. I started the school 84 July. <laughs> yes? I wanted my children to, to study in my school only. Then uh, my, my children are studied in my school. Apart from my two children, thousands of children also studied in the school. This is how we have to think in this world. You understand? I wanted my children to study in a good school. What is a good school here? Good is no end. I started my school in my house in a two or two or three rooms. I started with two children. So, sorry, sorry, 20 children, LKG. Slowly, slowly has become 1200. My children studied there. With my children, so many children studied there. This is the way how to work in the society. Our family is also part of the society. Don't separate your family from the society. Then the children also, they, they will learn how to work with the society. If you give them the teaching, no, don't be selfish. It should be universal. All these are foreign language words. They can't understand. They should, they should learn as a habit. The parents are like living like that all the time. And then it, is, it, is, it became a habit to them. Suppose when, when we go to some temples or somewhere, 
or some poor people are there in the streets in India. What generally we do as parents, you know, I, I, I do personally, when I wanted to give some money to any poor person or poor people there in the street, if Priska is there, I will give my money to Priska. Priska, you please give, the, give to him. I'll give to her. But some people feel, no, 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 if she is giving the money, she will get the benefit from the God. It is my money. I should get the benefit to Punya from the God. Why should I give this money to her and she will get the benefit? No, 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 no. Do you think God is a fool? <laughs> For your one, one franc, two francs, and he will give you a lot of punya, basket of apples. He is not a fool. So it is a very good habit. If I wanted to give something to somebody, is a big amount or small amount, or that maybe, immediately I will find somebody else besides me. I will give it to she or he. He please give it. To it is one, one sort of uh, teaching. Then, next time she tries to give by her own, at least. Our children, they will try to understand why my father is giving the money, because they are very poor, they don't have any money. By any chance, if he has something in, in himself, he can start something else to help the people. He have to create the atmosphere, not by teaching. Help the poor, Believe in, believe the Jesus, He is light and love. I don't know whether they believe it or not. So in the Aquarian age, one thing we should remember, we should not try to possess everything for ourselves only. Possessiveness is against Aquarian discipleship. Individual, individuality and personality, keeping everything, power and money and this and that, it is not for Aquarian disciple. Always you wanted to be with a group. I am not asking you to leave the family and I am not, I am, I am not telling that. Family is also part of that. Many years I lived in the school. <laughs> All the time my wife used to complain. You are a social man, a man on the streets without any family. <laughs> no privacy to my wife, no privacy to my children. I was all the time, every day, some 50 people, 30 people, 20 people eating, eating in my house. All the time she has to cook. Some people come in the night and, Oh, Raju, I'm here. Okay, come on, come on, let us sleep <laughs> on the floor. Saraswati, give him something in the night. <laughs> if she is a Swiss girl, eh? <laughs> She might have left me long, 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 long. <laughs> Understand? It's not, not only Swiss girl, even other Indian girl also. Yeah. Kick, kick me off and she, she goes. Why I'm telling you this is, this is an extreme case. You, you please don't go to this extreme. I am an extreme case. I am not telling you to go to this extreme. But be balanced. Eh? But this is the way we have to live, live in this world in the Aquarian years. Because we are not trying, to, we are not trying to be so rich. I believe we are not trying to be so much famous. We are not trying to be so much powerful in this on this earth. We are trying to be quite calm, happy, and spiritual. We need some money. We need some a small house. We need our children in a comfortable way. We need a comfortable life, to some extent. This is what. I believe all of you are in the, in the same way. Otherwise, you cannot uh, come along all these years with me. So, try to spend the time, the Aquarian, Aquarian disciple, he will try to understand how to spend his time in a proper way. How much time he has to allocate to his family. How much time to his personal work. How much time to the group work? How much time to meditate? Understand? How much time to read? 
when you divide your 24 hours time into this frame and things will be changed but what we do we attend to the emergency works just like that without divide our time into a time frame it's very important when we have to get up from the bed immediately after getting up from the bed what to do when we have to go to the office how many works we will work there even even in the office also what i am going to do today how much work i will complete it right when i will come to the house and what i will do before going to bed what i will do to whom i have to telephone is it important or not if you plan like this you know the mind will become very focused when the mind is focused you believe mind is such a very beautiful weapon in our hands it will no more bothers you it will no more disturbs you but what what we have to do we have to try in the mind to focus on certain things in a disciplined way when you train your mind like that for few months all the dirty stuff from our mind will just disappear if you try to work on those stuff master explained in this so beautifully some people some in yoga schools they try to work on the senses they will try to work on the mind they will try to work on the heating habits they will miserably fail he wrote here because all the time you are pushing your mind without its liking and it will go like this like this like and on the <coughs> again come back it's much more vengeance much more power so don't uh, worry about all the senses going this and out no no you focus on the useful things put your mind don't worry about the other thing negative things put your mind on on certain things and then slowly and slowly mind will become much more stronger it will leave all those things aside don't care about them you need not worry about that but somebody say you take the training from me and you have to be you have to work on your senses don't eat don't eat don't drink nothing works he stops there in ashram 14 days fasting camp immediately go to the next restaurant 15th day one pizza one burger <laughs> one fish one ram one leg one mouth <laughs> because 15 days he fasted there he tortured his mind <laughs> understand this is the best way to overcome the many things the master says don't don't try to overcome certain things try to do good things that is the way to overcome the don't use the word overcome or win don't use all those words just sleep like that we don't care but focus here when you try to focus your time and your life on certain good things all other things they disappear automatically it is quite natural not artificial no suppressions no mask here <laughs> no mask here so this is the way how a caring disciple he lives it is the path of all inclusion what master explained today morning path of all inclusion he read bible he read other books he read gita he read buddhism he read jainism he reads everything it doesn't mean that he follow everything whatever is there to be followed for his thing he will follow that other leave it he will try to include everything he will try to assimilate everything he will try to digest everything but he will follow his path without any deviation but what happens if you do if you meet so many masters definitely it is a deviation a current disciple he will not he will never deviate even though he meet 100 masters 1000 masters he read 1 million books or 1000 books of different uh, approaches different philosophies he will not be disturbed because 
he stays always at the center not at the circumference master says center everywhere circumference nowhere he will live in the center that's why he will not be disturbed he will not be carried away by anything on this earth he will never be away from his focus you see and uh, i told one story in long back arjuna krishna's disciple was there when he was so young all of them they were practicing arrows arjuna is such a very clever man and a very wonderful guy if anybody appear before me and ask me what what do you want from me i wanted to born as arjuna <laughs> because he is a very close disciple of lord krishna such a great man i like him you know we, we never become krishna <laughs> <laughs> there is no use to ask about it <laughs> then uh, his master asked uh, he put a bird there on the top of the big tree <coughs> he asked all his students to come and uh, you have to hit that bird he showed like this he showed his finger like this you have to hit the bird a artificial bird not a real bird <laughs> some some girl asked me in scotland or switzerland i don't know how it is so inhuman why this master has put the bird there asking asking all these students to uh, kill the bird no oh, i shocked no 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 it is artificial bird i said <laughs> i was also shocked i told this story story in many countries nobody asked me one girl asked it is inhuman Why? Why did this master ask to kill that bird, shoot that bird? So I shocked. I said, No, no, no! It is artificial bird. <laughs> really, it is artificial bird. Everybody is throwing then one, one, one hit that big trunk and this and that and that and that. And uh, Arjuna's turn has come in the end. It's like this. Straight away, the arrow goes to the eye of the bird. It is what we call the focus. then the master said he is something special he likes his son very much he is also a very brave man the master he doesn't want arjuna to become more powerful than his son and he said oh, you see arjuna is having some new faculties don't allow him in the darkness he ordered all other disciples don't allow arjuna to go into the darkness in the night you know why he learn something else without his help you know what is the art in the night if he listen to some sound he will aim it that sound even without looking at that side he doesn't want arjuna to learn this art if he there in the darkness if some sound is there like this and one arjuna doesn't he doesn't know that one day he went to the darkness there was some sound tishkam the sound came and the, the guru came out what happened arjuna said there is some sound i thought it is a wild animal i shoot it then he agreed the disciple and said you will become the you are the best among all my students i will make you the best you are the best i will make you the best he has become the disciple of lord krishna that is different i am i am telling you about the focus when you learn how to focus the mind on one thing it will become like an atomic bomb mind is such a powerful thing master said once after 21st century a time will come a boy and a girl they sit each other looking at each other the girl looks at into the boy's eyes the boy looks at the girl's eye their the ray from his bow center goes to her bow center then they will close their eyes and they visualize a beautiful girl there or a beautiful son there in this two wheels come together here they appear a beautiful boy he born out of their will power not of the, out of the girl's womb one day it will come 
such a powerful thing this growth center and the mind but you are using this mind for so many so many dirty things and he is he is the winner and we are the, we are the assistants but we have to make the mind so powerful instrument in our hands master says if somebody has a great will power he he will create a human form here with his will power such a powerful mind it is that's why aquarian age either the master or the disciple they work from here not from here they serve the people from here but they work from here that is the purpose of the meditation not to see the light and not to see the colors and not to see the angels if anybody tell you like that he is he is just spoiling your future the spiritual journey he is an obstruction to your spiritual journey this is the real journey at this aquarian age that's why i tell all of you read good books of master jol cool read good books of the master and try to do some meditation it should not be so intense we, we need not meditate for hours together i am telling you very frankly even you do for hours together you will not get anything it's a mere time waste doing japa or doing mantra for hours hours together no use unless it is changed unless the attitude is changed nothing works so we are very happy we don't uh, go for long hours of meditation long hours of pranayama long hours of chanting this thing are leaving the family are living in the ashram paying lot of money fasting very difficult <laughs> no coffee <laughs> and no biscuits <laughs> no fish <laughs> <laughs> no ram <laughs> we acquire in age we don't need all these things what we want is we should become much more stronger in our mind focusing the life on something else believe that you are i am that i am we are no more the body is or anything else i am question yourself and close your eyes who am i try to get the answer from inside slowly and slowly and take many years of time there is no hurry we are not going for any examinations <laughs> we don't want any marks do pranayama to purify your blood and lungs focus observe your breathing that is the best meditation many times i explain to you and om that is the origin that is the beginning and that is the end to the om this thing I think it is enough. Tomorrow we don't, we should not meet again. <laughs> we did not meet again. <laughs> okay, so acquiring discipleship is over. Whether you become a disciple or not, that is your wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs>